prostate cancer really uh, I think of it uh, simply there's there's three types there's uh, what we call low-risk prostate cancer, intermediate-risk prostate cancer, and high-risk prostate cancer. And those are based on a combination of the physical examination, the blood test level of PSA, uh, as well as uh, if someone has their prostate biopsy, there's something called the Gleason score. Uh, Gleason score is named after a pathologist, Dr. Gleason, who first described the degree of aggression under the microscope of the prostate sample. So a higher Gleason score is more aggressive. In general, low-risk prostate cancer is treated with one thing, whether that's surgical removal of the prostate, also called a prostatectomy, or with radiation therapy. Radiation can be given from the outside, like a flashlight pointing at the, flash, uh, the prostate, or can be given as uh, little bits of radioactive metal implanted in the prostate. Um, all of those have equally curative effects. Uh, their side effects differ, so depending on uh, patient's preferences as well as the, uh, side, the other things that are going on with people, one may be better than the other. But the good news is they all seem to be equally curative. For intermediate risk prostate cancer and high risk prostate cancer, a more aggressive approach is warranted. This has been shown uh, through several clinical trials conducted through the RTOG, which we're a member of here at Norton Healthcare. Um, basically, we know that either a uh, higher amount of radiation should be given, or uh, in the case of intermediate risk prostate cancer and high risk prostate cancer, what we call androgen deprivation therapy should be given. That's where a series of medicines are given to reduce the amount of testosterone in a male, uh, which prostate cancer needs to grow and thrive. Um, surgery uh, sometimes is able to take care of prostate cancer. Sometimes uh, people will receive radiation after prostate cancer. So again, depending on someone's course, they may or may not need something else.